Hi. Welcome to Miasmata. I looked it up on Wikipedia, and it turns out it is Miasmata, not Mi- Miasmata. So, Miasmata. Uh, last time we left, we were at a uh, little hut uh, looking for Agent Z. I think we got the first ingredient for it. And so I grabbed a torch and headed out north from the hut uh, and lit that bonfire, which saved, and found a bunch of landmarks that I couldn't do much with. But I'd found a little map that said the second part of Agent Z was just north from the hut I was in. So I figured I would head out. And from there, it's a little bit northwest. So check the compass and head this way. And I'll uh, confess that I actually tried this once and ran into the beast who pretty much ate my face. So uh, I had to start back from my previous save point, which is actually why I headed out with a torch. And I didn't realize I would put the torch down when I lit the fire. But there we are. Anyway, carrying on up here, I'm just trying to tag some landmarks and reveal the map and actually work out my location so that I don't end up all the way over on the other coast before I know where I've got to. Uh, But here we are, sure enough, by a little river. So all I need to do is cross this river here. There we go. And unfortunately, it's getting to night time. But we should be okay. Oh, no, it's not getting to night time at all. I don't know why I had... Oh, it's because I was standing by the fire. That's why. That's why it looked like I had my lighter on. Anyway, I am having a look to see what the pitcher plant looks like and just double checking the map to make sure I'm going in the right direction. And every time I get even slightly close, the damn beast turns up. And the beast annoys me, obviously. It's supposed to. But it is, it's more annoying than frightening. If it hits you twice, then you, um, if it hits you twice, you die. But it's actually not too bad. You're going to be more likely to die from falling while you're running away from it than you are from it hitting you. Uh, Anyway, I luckily fell down the hill and landed right on the plant. So that was kind of a win. Uh, And then I took my medicine because I'm a good boy who takes his medicine. And the beast is back. And so I thought I would just run, run from the beast in the opposite direction until the heartbeat stopped. And eventually, uh, beast still on my case. Uh, So the beast icon, I've got the mind-enhancing drug, as you know, and the beast icon, it goes red if it can see you, and you have two heartbeats. One goes da-dum, da-dum, there it is there, when it is uh, just sort of around, and then it gets faster when it is within sort of 10 meters. And then when you see the red thing there, that's when it can actually see you. But I figure here I am pretty safe. It can't get up to me from there. So I just carried on up higher and higher to try and get a bead on where I was and look for a point that I could synthesize some drugs. And it turns out I'm just, I've basically run west from where I picked up the uh, plant. And now I'm trying to work out the best way to get back after tagging a bunch of landmarks because that seemed like a sensible thing to do from up here. And there we are. That is all the points. I got many, many points here, which is actually really useful because it means that if I get to another high point, there's a good chance I'll be at a better angle and I'll I'll immediately reveal a bunch of decent landmarks. Anyway, from here, the problem with climbing, as we'll see later, is it's actually really easy to get up. It's really scary to get down because a fall, not only does it hurt you, but you end up with a fever and you burn through medicine. And white flowers are becoming rarer and rarer. And I'm getting kind of sick of always heading back to Outpost Draco to refill on them. But later on, I forge out a little bit and find some more. And I have a friend along with me um, who will be joining us a bit later to help narrate. She can mock all my poor moves. Uh, But heading on up here, I just cut running around the coast to get back to this point because it was pretty boring. I basically just ran back and forth and kept half drowning. It wasn't very interesting at all. But mapping my way around here, I just wanted to find a hut to be able to hang about. What's happened here? Where's my drug gone? Oh, no, there it is in my hand. I thought I dropped it. Uh, but it was just holding the map, makes it magically disappear. But now night is falling. And I am miles from anywhere that I know. And I don't really want to go back into inland because I'm fearful of the beast. Especially now I've got this plant. The last thing I want to do is drop it or die. Um, especially after that extremely lucky Uh, grab that I did on it, just falling down a hill and having it in front of me. That was pretty sweet. Um, I've also been really underestimating the map tonics, the uh, awareness tonics, 
or mental clarity, I think they're called, which allow you to see where you are on the map. Uh, they're made with red mushrooms, which are actually scattered around everywhere. So they're definitely worth using as much as you can and just always having a red mushroom or two in your specimen tray. And they seem to last a really long time, too. Anyway, making my way slowly around the coast looking for the hut. Here it is this way. Is it? Yes, here it is. We're heading back to Outpost Draco, and I was just trying to tag that ruin as a landmark. And I actually ended up running backwards and forwards a whole bunch, but eventually got around here. Here we go. And I'm thirsty, and I think I'm running out of water as well. But running around this way, I eventually back, made it back to the boat landing, which is where you initially start off, and then through this house, which is where you find the first bloody letter, and to the first laboratory, where I got some water, thankfully. Took another drug, and there's a drug stash right nearby, which is good. And now night is falling, so it actually worked out really, really well. And sure enough, this, pla 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 this plant <laughs> is the one that is used in the uh, synthesis of Agent Z, and it's used in combination with the four-foot tuba that I got in the previous video. So I am just going to put those two together here. I'm just making sure that that's the right one, and sure enough, it is. Come on, chop, chop, close the book. Go make your delicious items. Um, put them on here. Save the game just in case I got it wrong. But there we are. Concocted Agent Z. Ta-da! And then I was safe to go and save. So now we've got Agent Y. Oh, no, not Agent Y. We've got Agent Z is our first one. We've got half of Agent Y. The mind stimulant drug. And uh, I think the first part, the blue toadstool for the endurance stimulation drug. Uh, and I'm just going to make some medicine before I go to bed and head out and grab a few more of those plants. And just uh, tag the outpost there. I just wanted to get that ruin on the map. Uh, but I just run back and forth a little bit and make a couple more batches of medicine for my adventures tomorrow. So I've sped that up no end because you guys know where those plants are by now. Anyway, then head a little bit north to the bed. Uh, here, trying to navigate by the sight of my lighter was not a lot of fun. I can tell you navigating at night in this game is rough. Anyway, off to bed. And then woke up the next morning. I actually switched the game off and started it up today. And this is where my best friend Nika joined me to play along. And she sat here looking at it. Nika, you there? Hi. Um, she sat here looking at it going, what the hell is this game? Uh, so <laughs> I tried to explain how it all worked. And we started off heading to this hut up here because I figured we would head into the northern east landmass. And at what point, Nick, did you start to get a handle on this or, like, understand at all of what was going on? Uh, I think by the time we were running out of medicine, because oh. so far you were just kind of running a boat and I had no idea why or where you were going. But then there seems to be some, some kind of a goal at the end. There is a goal eventually. So we made it to the hut. I cut that because that's basically where we've been before. And then decided to forge out this way and just start tagging the new territory. And I was going to head along the coast to that hut. But then we got distracted and decided to go north, I think, because we saw this. Oh, no, it wasn't because we saw this. It's because the beast arrives in a second, isn't it? I think it's because we wanted to cross to the other side, but uh, we wanted to do it at the narrow point. That's right. Well, no, 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 I didn't even know there was a narrow point, right? I think I'm just trying to get the map and work out where we are. And mm. oh, is it? Because oh, I fell there. You weren't very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's the first of our medicine about to be used. Oh, and it's a rough couple of days with no medicine coming up. Um, but no, you, I, I'd always traditionally stuck to the coast to try and tag stuff, and you kept screaming at me to get to high ground, and it actually worked out really well. Because we found everything at the high ground. We didn't find anything at the coast. There goes the first of our medicine, and here comes the beast. Uh, but, you know, you're right. Low ground was remarkably unfruitful, and it actually... And it's really hard to tag things on low ground. Exactly, yeah, because you can't see any statues. There's a beast, he wants to eat our face. And here I went for a mad swim across here to try and elude the beast. So I'm like, ha-ha, beast. We got... Oh, this one was ugly. <laughs> and apparently he's just going to cross the water and come stalking us. Yeah, the beast can definitely swim. We made that mistake at least three times, I think. Yeah, I was trying to convince Neek that the beast couldn't swim, and every time I was like, we got away from it, we're fine here. It just proceeded to swim right towards us. So in the end, I hit... That's almost with the purple flower, though, when it just came out. 
Yeah, <laughs> you know, right near the end. But I ended up just backing away, and it uh, left us alone. So then I was trying to head this way to tag a landmark to find out where we were, because by this point I'd kind of lost track. We'd swum across a river. I'd been hiding behind a rock. We'd used some medicine. We're practically out of water again. And there's a hut. So I'm like, okay, well, there's a safe hut. And I think I was saying I can't swim it. And you were saying, no, you've, it'll, you'll be fine. And we nearly drowned. Uh, yeah, and then you nearly drowned a few times. Yeah, a few times. Uh, but then we found this little crazy note and uh, saved the game, which was good. And then couldn't find still any landmarks and had the fever again from nearly drowning. So that, within two hours of playing, <laughs> we've used all our medicine. <laughs> and we've got the whole day to go. So I was like, it'll be fine. There are white plants everywhere. We'll make some more medicine. Not. Not. Um, and then we're thirsty. So, but that we're slowly making our way up here, and we wanted to cross to the other side to explore the northwest area, but couldn't find a decent place to cross. Um, which turns into a bit of a joke later. You'll see why. Um, <laughs> we come back about three days later, and it's just embarrassingly easy to cross. Uh, but making our way up here, and I, are we about to get got by the beast again, or do we see a hut? Uh, no, I think the beast comes out again. We just kept going north, straight north. Oh, we found a flower. That was the first of the medicine flowers. So generally, the oriole, the kind of um, what lilac? What color would you call that? The, I don't know. I would call it lilac. Generally, the lilac flowers are the uh, strength-enhancing, medicine strength-enhancing ones. And I'm just heading around here because I really want to see two statues or two landmarks I can use just to be able to pinpoint my location. Right, right, right. This is where we did triangulation. Yeah, but I just had nothing. And so I think we're just here. Um, and we had a little bit further up until we can see two statues. But we've still got nothing. So I'm like, okay, we must be there. That's surely where we are. But there's still nothing to tag. So we just go up a little further. And I should have just listened to you and gone to the high ground. And there's the beast. And at this point, I was like, screw the beast. I'm running. I don't know if for that beast. And there's a hut up there. And so I think we figured we would go up there and jump in the hut to escape the beast. At which point it became obvious that high ground is perhaps the most awesome way to tag uh, landmarks. There we go. And it turns out we're quite some way from civilization. I think I was listening to the recording and you said, holy crap. Yeah, that was pretty impressive how we surfaced up there. No idea how. But from here, I was able to tag a whole bunch of new landmarks. And I've sped up the process of me just citing stuff because it's not very interesting. Yeah, you spent a good 15 minutes on there. Yeah, I really did. I spent even longer on one of the next ones. But... Um, I've comp- okay, it was for fun, figuring out where we were. Yeah, it was. We ended up with about 60 lines on the map, right? But there we go. Tagging. Maybe I didn't speed it up. Maybe I should have sped it up. Sometimes getting those things is quite fiddly, but worth it. Totally worth it. It's definitely worth it to scan through all the forest because sometimes it picks up all the little, um, all the statues. Yeah, exactly. and sometimes ones that you can't quite see, and you'll just get the picture that no one was there. But then we headed here and had some water and put that down. And then I realized we hadn't actually researched it. And that stupid mug had no water in it, so I threw it away. Mm -hmm. Uh, But no, then I realized we hadn't researched this. So I just wanted to double check that it was uh, extra strength medicine. And sure enough, there it is. Dropped it in there. And then where do we decide to go? We decided to continue north, right? Yeah, we decided to figure out what those islands were. Yeah, to see if there was anything interesting on them. Short answer, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the marks, though. <laughs> uh, there's a beast there. But actually, this is quite interesting. If the beast appears directly in front of you, what you can do, run away, like turn around and run away immediately, it'll disappear because you get away from it, and then you can go straight back to where you want it to be, and it won't be there. Um, so sometimes being near the water is quite good. And it seems the beast tends to spawn near interesting things. Mm-hmm. Anyway. We carried on around here, and we were just tagging stuff. And I think by this time, you're starting to get a bit of handle on the game, right? Yep. By this time, I figured out what you were doing. Yeah. And then I was wondering if we could... Oh, I actually cut this bit out. Uh, (laughs) There was a bit, do you remember, from that uh, hut when we saved? I was like, maybe we can swim across to those interesting-looking plants. You can't swim across. We drowned. (laughs) With, uh, what do we have? The energy-enhancing drug. 
because by this time we hadn't found the Herculean tonic, had we? Right. Uh, but there, just tagging more stuff, and some of the sunsets on this are really beautiful. But by this time it's getting quite late, and I figured we would head back to get some sleep in that nearby tent, which is just there. And then we got up the next morning, and figured, I can't even remember what our plan was, we were just going to carry on around the coast, right? We were going to map that um, east coast, I think. Yeah. But at this point, we didn't really have much of a goal in mind. We were just trying to uncover kind of, yeah, these islands and work out what was going on here. And there's a bunch of statues in this bay that we've kind of half tacked. And then, of course, the beast turns up. And there's a bit more fun kind of hiding behind rocks. And I figured that I'd try and scare him off with fire, but it didn't work especially well. So I ended up just running away. And then I got to this bonfire here, I think. And I just ran and the beast left. There we go. But then got to a bonfire up here somewhere that I was able to light this stupid thing. And don't forget, at this point, we've got no medicine, and we haven't found any new medicine. Uh, there are no plants around. We probably should have just run back and got medicine, you know, after all that. It would have saved yeah, us. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be fun. No, that's true. Living on the edge. This was a lot more exciting. Well, it kind of was, right? There were, oh, we have to do a blooper reel of that day that we died like three feet from the hut. <laughs> that's so depressing. Uh, but here's the bonfire. This is when the beast turns up again. And so I basically play Benny Hill with the beast, just running around, keeping away from it. And if you put uh, the uh, big item like that between you and the beast, uh, it'll eventually get bored and run away. And I think I multiplied that to times 16. So it was probably there for about 30, 35 seconds before it got bored and just wandered off. Uh, but then we headed up to high ground again on your recommendation. And sure enough, it was a great place to cite this statue. And the good thing about doing it next to a statue is it unlocks the landmark, obviously, so you can then use it in the future. So then I think we were going to, yeah, well, we basically said we'd head down there, right? And I got really lucky coming down here. I thought I was going to die. But we just about did it. I, di I still don't believe we made that without falling over. It's interesting. Well, some he runs just a better at running downhill initially than he was later on. I have no idea why, but it seems I, that you were slipping a lot more later. Yeah, I think I got a bit... Um, well, I think I gained false confidence from some of the successes we'd had and then trying to <laughs> try sliding down sheer slopes. That was the problem. Yeah, that never worked out. Oh, but then we came around here and found this uh, path, right? Mm-hmm. And with a little hut. But that uh, brings us to the end of this video. So we'll leave you here drinking some water and saving off. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.